Hello everyone, Jeroz Korskamp here from Team Infinity and today in this video I want to uh, explain uh, the difference with the, uh, the PRS uh, rear suspension and the regular upright uh, rear suspension. Um, as you know the new IF14 uh, Team Edition comes standard with the uh, PRS system or the passive rear suspension and um, uh, so in the kit you have standard this suspension but as you know on the the old i42 uh, the car came standard with the uh, uh, the standard upright rear suspension and um, yeah we choose uh, to run this uh, prs uh, system more and more because it uh, it can gain you some benefits uh, it, it gives a bit more steering uh, but also on certain uh, tracks uh, you also would like to uh, to drive the uh, the regular uh, rear suspension the upright so in this video I want to show you the differences and uh, I want to explain you when to use uh, which uh, rear suspension. So again it's uh, very handy to have uh, both uh, rear suspensions. Um, what I said before the PRS uh, system now have uh, a lot of advantages. But uh, for example on carpet racing and also on high, uh, high traction uh, tracks I honestly still prefer the uh, the old uh, or the regular rear uh, the rear suspension with the upright uh, because it just drives a little bit more easy with it. So um, I will show you now uh, what is the differences. So on the table, uh, both my uh, my cars, uh, the right one with the PRS system, is my uh, my world's car. And uh, on the left uh, is my uh, my practice car, and uh, because I drive uh, a bit more on carpet now, I uh, I put uh, the regular rear suspension on. Uh, as you can see, um, the regular suspension is uh, simply uh, an arm and uh, a rear uh, rear upright, and um, this means that uh, the the toe-in uh, will not change uh, uh, during um, uh, cornering or accelerating or braking so this is a kind of a static uh, rear toe-in and now going to the uh, world's car where we use the PRS system the passive rear suspension and with uh, with this linkage you can uh, pretty much change the uh, the toe-in um, gain or um, yeah, the towing change uh, during uh, cornering, accelerating, and braking. So, with uh, with the linkage, you can set up the uh, the the perfect uh, tow uh, angle uh, and the tow gain. So, for example, at the uh, worlds uh, we run um, when you have the car on the on the on your setup, it's a two point five degree, and when you uh, press the suspension, the 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 toe gain uh, go to uh, three degrees. So uh, this gives uh, a bit more, uh, uh, yeah, traction. And um, at the same time, uh, with the PRS system, because it's a completely different uh, rear suspension, because you change the flex, uh, you change the weight. Uh, the car uh, feels like it is more free, and uh, it it can really give you a bit more uh, more steering. Uh, however, the the regular suspension is uh, more lightweight and uh, it drives a bit more predictable. Um, so it's really uh, depends on the track, um, uh, also depends on the tires. Uh, so there are a lot of things to uh, to think about before um, uh, using uh, rear suspension, uh, the regular one or the PRS uh, system. So now looking from the top, um, yeah, again. Um, the regular upright normally um, you set the toe in from here from the uh, just from the hinge pin so that this uh, the rear suspension block is uh, is wider than the front block so that uh, you can change the toe in with the uh, with just the su suspension holders and um, yeah when you compress the the suspension the toe doesn't change so on the PRS the uh, the pin you can run either uh, inboard toe in which means you have the the suspension pin similar to with the regular uh, rear suspension um, so you have already toe here 
and you can also uh, change the toe a bit with the linkage but uh, for us at uh, Worlds in, uh, in Gubbio we uh, really preferred the, uh, the suspension pin to be uh, straight and you can see it a little bit here um, so the suspension uh, pin is straight and so all the toe in that you uh, need more you, uh, you will just adjust with this uh, linkage so um, uh, for us um, the suspension pin straight gave, gave uh, more steering the, the rear was more free and um, with, the, uh, with the straight suspen suspension was just faster uh, with the uh, angled suspension pin uh, you feel the car has more rear traction so yeah, that's uh, pretty much the difference. Um, setting up the uh, PRS system, um, you have uh, of course a caster block and um, the team edition comes with a two degree uh, caster block. So with the angled caster block, you also change the, the, the wheelbase. So that's a very nice uh, feature. Also the, uh, the steering block, uh, you can choose either hard or uh, graphite. Uh, we usually run the graphite because it's uh, more stiff and it's just a bit more uh, more rear traction. Of course, if you want to have more free free up the, the rear, you can also try to use the hard uh, suspend uh, the steering block. And uh, the caster block is also aluminium, and uh, we choose to use aluminium because it simply has more traction than a plastic uh, caster block. Of course, uh, also the arm uh, comes uh, with uh, the graphite uh, version. So basically, again, standard rear upright PRS system. Um, either way, both drive very nice. Uh, PRS uh, in some condition is just faster. Uh, regular rear upright suspension is just more easy to drive. A bit more traction as well if you go uh, uh, on the power. Um, carpet racing, I prefer upright standard upright uh, outdoor on a big track I really uh, enjoy to run the PRS it also saves uh, sometimes a bit of uh, front uh, tire uh, because uh, sometimes you have uh, when you drive with fresh tire and um, you feel after a few laps uh, you have uh, some uh, some tire drop with the PRS system uh, it feels like uh, you use uh, less front tire so you have a little bit more consistent uh, run um, I'm not sure why that is uh, it's probably because the rear end is more free so you you can't push as as hard as you can push with the uh, regular upright so either way it's uh, I think it's best to have both and um, uh, and try for yourself on uh, which track uh, which rear suspension works the best it's, of course it's great that we have both so you can always uh, yeah, always test and uh, make the car as fast as you can um, another thing is uh, the regular rear upright is a lot more lightweight uh, suspension and uh, therefore it also feels it's uh, just uh, more easy to drive so one more thing about the um, toe gain uh, if you want to change the toe gain, uh, the standard setup is about uh, 0.5 gain. So, for example, you put 2.5 toe, and when you compress the suspension, it goes to 3. If you want to change this, uh, you simply uh, change the, um, the shims uh, under the uh, steering block or the shims uh, on the uh, suspension, suspension block. And uh, by changing the shim, you change the angle of the rear linkage and this uh, changes the toe uh, gain so uh, it's easy to adjust so i hope this was a little bit more clear for you and i hope you like my video and see you next time